హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు వివిత్ కెమీ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ విద్యాశ్రీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బి డిస్కసింగ్ ఆన్ పర్ముటేషన్స్ అండ్ కాంబినేషన్స్ టు బిగిన్ విత్ వీ షెల్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ది మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ పర్ముటేషన్ అండ్ హౌ వీ క్యాన్ ఐడెంటిఫై ది పర్ముటేషన్ ఆఫ్ గివన్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ పర్ముటేషన్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ the orderly arrangement of the objects whenever you are given with a different objects you are going to arrange them in a certain order so that is nothing but it is termed as the permutation now let us see the different formulas related to the permutation before moving into the formulas let me discuss the term that is factorial so this factorial can be determined for any non negative integer so let me consider a non negative integer n and its factorial is represented as n factorial like this or it can be written as this way so this is nothing but it is the product of all the positive integers less than or equal to n that means n factorial is written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and this multiplication continues until we write 1 okay so for example 3 factorial is nothing but it is 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 6 so same way we have 0 factorial is equal to 1 1 factorial is equal to 1 2 factorial is 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 6 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 24 5 factorial is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 120 in the same way 6 factorial is nothing but it's equal to 720 7 factorial is 5040 8 factorial is equal to 40320 and 9 factorial is equal to 362880 and so on this factorial continues so you can try to remember it up to 9 factorial or 10 factorial that will help you to easily simplify the given problem so just now we have discussed that permutation is nothing but the orderly arrangement of objects and we understood what is factorial representation and how we can write the factorial of different numbers so you should remember here that 0 factorial is equal to 1 and also 1 factorial is 1 now let me list the different formulas related to permutation first is n p r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial where this capital letter p that represents permutation and the meaning of n p r is that it is permutation of n things taken r things at a time and this is the formula n p r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and the other formulas you have to remember is n p n is equal to n factorial and we have n p 1 is equal to n so always you have to remember that n is always greater than or equal to r so this point is important to remember n is always greater than or equal to r 
So these formulas n p n is equal to n factorial and n p one is equal to n helps us to simplify the given problem very easily. Now let me take an example that we need to find three p two. So this means permutation of three things taken two at a time. So this is nothing but it is n factorial means three factorial divided by three minus two factorial, which is nothing but three into two into one divided by three minus two is one factorial. So one factorial is one. So we get three into two into one divided by one, which is equal to six. So this is how you can apply the formula. Without using formula, you can find three p two directly just by multiplying the two numbers starting from three and decreasing one. So three into two, you get six. Same way, if you have five p two, you will write it as five into four, which is equal to twenty. The same answer you are going to get by applying the formula as well. So if I apply formula in this case, that is five factorial divided by Five minus two factorial, which is five into four into three into two into one, divided by five minus two is three factorial, means three into two into one. So I get five into four, which is equal to twenty. So this is a easy way of finding the permutation of the given things. See if I have four p three. So here r is three. And n is four. Without applying uh, formula, first I'll write four. Then I have to write the three numbers lesser than four, including it. Means I have to write four into three into two. So this will give me the answer. So four three is at twelve. Twelve into two is twenty-four. Four p three is nothing but it is twenty-four. In general, this is written as n p r is equal to n Into n minus one, into n minus two, and so on, into n minus r plus one. So if you have r as two, you have to just write the number two numbers. Means if it is given four p three, you will write three numbers including four and two numbers less than that. Four into three into two. So this is a easy way where you can find the permutation without applying the formula, and these two formulas, n p n is equal to n factorial and n p one is equal to n. So this helps us in the easy simplification. Now let us discuss a few problems related to permutations. Here is the question: Arrange physics, chemistry, and mathematics book in a row, taking all the three. At a time, so you are given with three books. So physics, I'll represent as P, chemistry C, and mathematics. Three books have been given. We have to arrange them in a row, taking all the three at a time. So let us see how many different ways we can arrange the book. So the first way is arranging them as P C M, and the second way, keeping physics book at the same place. I can arrange mathematics and then chemistry. Third arrangement, keeping C in the same middle, I can interchange the position of mathematics and physics textbook. Fourth arrangement, I can place chemistry in the first, then mathematics and then physics. Now fifth arrangement and sixth arrangement, I will place physics book at the center. And remaining two, I'll keep as mathematics and chemistry, chemistry, physics and mathematics. So these are the six arrangements that are possible. So if I want to represent this in terms of permutation, I can write: we have to arrange three books in such a way that all the three we have to take it. So it is three p three permutation of three things taken three things at a time. So we know we have studied n p n is nothing but n factorial. Applying this formula here, this is nothing but 
3 factorial which is 3 into 2 into 1 is nothing but 6. So this is how you can solve this particular problem. In the same way applying the same concept we can solve n number of problems related to permutations. Make a note here that whenever it is asked about the arrangements the question is related to permutations. It may be arrangements of alphabets or numbers or it can be arrangement of objects and even it may be arrangement of people etc. In all the cases wherever you come across the term arrangements then you should make it clear that it is related to the permutation. Arrangement is nothing but it is related to permutation. Let's move into the next question. The next question, how many different outfits are possible if a boy has three shirts and two pants? So the boy is having three shirts, means he can wear the three shirts in three different ways and he has two pants which he can wear in two different ways. So we have three into two is six different outfits that he can form from his three shirts and two pants. Next question, in how many different ways the letters of the word job can be arranged? So we are given with the word job. So this word has three different letters. So three different letters can be arranged in 3P3 means it is 3 factorial. So three different letters of the word job can be arranged in three factorial ways. So this is 3 into 2 into 1 or directly if you remember 3 factorial is 6. So the letters of the word job can be arranged in 6 different ways. Now the same way can you just check how many different ways you can arrange the letters of the word exam. So let me know your answer for this particular question in the comment section below this video. So you have to find how many different ways the letters of the word exam can be arranged. Next question, how many ways five students can be seated on a bench? So we have five students, we need to seat them on a bench. So we have 5p, 5 ways, which is nothing but 5 factorial and 5 factorial is equal to 120. So 5 students, we can seat them in 120 different ways on a bench. Next question is, how many 3 digit numbers can be formed using the digits 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 without repetition? So we are given with 6 digits from which we need to form 3 digit numbers. Okay, We are given with 6 digits from which we have to form 3 digit number means it is 6 p 3. So this is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4 which is 30 into 4 120 different ways. This is one way of doing it. Here is another way how you can solve this. We will draw a table like this because we are asked to form a 3 digit number means it has a unit digit tens digit and hundreds digit and we are given with six different digits so hundreds digit we can write any of the six different letters that is given to us and they have asked it without repetition we have to find so if one digit we have written it for hundred then tens place can be written by remaining five digits and similarly Units digit we can form it from the remaining 4 and so we have 5 into 6 into 5 into 4 different ways which is nothing but 120 ways of forming 3 digit numbers from the given numbers. Again a same type of question. How many 3 digit numbers can be formed using the digits 3, 4, 5 and 6? without repetition. Again we will draw a table like this. So 
so hundreds please we can write any of the four given digits so they have asked without repetition means that one digit which we have written for the hundredth place we are not supposed to write it further so we have three digits which we can write for tens place and only two digits for units place so total of 4 into 3 into 2 which is equal to 24 different ways by which we can form a three digit number from 3 4 5 6 without repetition now further if you have the other question for the same question like how many of these are even so how we are going to find this now so in order for the three digit numbers to be even we should be having four or six in the units place okay now let us see how many different ways we can get the even numbers again i'll draw a table here to answer the question that how many of these numbers which we are formed are even so here we shall start filling it from the units digit so in order to be getting even number in the units place we should be having four or six so here two ways you can write the numbers in the units place either it is four or six so among the four digits that are given to us one of the digits we will be writing in the units place so we are left with three different units which we can write in the tens place and one you have filled for units place one more for tens place then from the given four number we have only two digits which, which are left out to fill so we have 2 into 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 into 2 12 ways where we get even numbers so total 24 different three digits numbers we will get out of which 12 numbers are even hope it's clear if you are not clear again you can go back and revisit this question to make the concept clear next question in how many different ways that all the letters of the word arun can be arranged how many of these begin with a so to answer the first question that how many different ways the letters of the word arun can be arranged so here we have four different letters and therefore we can arrange them in four factorial ways so nothing but it is 4p4 so 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 24 so the letters of the word arun can be arranged in 24 different ways now since i have four letters in the word let me make four boxes a should be the first letter of the word in how many different ways this can be arranged so from the four letters we have fixed a as the first word remaining three letters i can write any of the letters in the next place then remaining two letters and one letter so a in the beginning i can write it as three into two into one different ways total six different ways such that those letters begin with a by using the formula i can tell that remaining three letters has to be arranged in three different ways which is nothing but 3p3 is equal to 3 factorial nothing but six different ways of getting the word arun starting with a and the next question is in how many different ways that all the letters of the word g r e a t great can be arranged such that all the ovals come together so for the same question we will take three different question that first we will find the different ways in which the letters of the word great can be arranged so for this question we will see how we can find the different ways of arrangement of the letters of the word great 
and the arrangements such that all the vowels will come together and the arrangement such a way that vowels do not come together so the different ways in which we can arrange the letters of the word great so we have five different letters in the given word so we have five p five different ways or five factorial ways of arranging it which is nothing but 120 different ways of arranging the letters such that they are not repeated now answering the second question that the different ways in which vowels come together so in the given word great we have two vowels e and a now we need to find the different ways in which they come together so i can write e a together which makes a one pair and different letters we have is g r and t so this is one g is two r is three and t is four so i can consider the letter has sorry the word has four different letters such that ovals always come together so the number of arrangement is four factorial so that is nothing but 4p4 and among the ovals e and a I have two different arrangements where I can write A in the beginning or I can write E in the beginning. So I have two factorial ways of arranging them. So 4 factorial is 24 and 2 factorial is 2. 24 into 2 means 48 different ways of arranging the given word great such that ovals come together. Now if for the same question it is asked arrange all the letters of the word great such that Ovals do not come together. I have to find the different number of ways by which I can arrange the letters. That is 120 ways. And the different ways in which ovals come together is 48 ways. The difference between these two will give me the different ways of arrangement such that ovals do not come together. 120 minus 48 ways which is nothing but 72 ways. So, if the question is asked such a way that how many different ways that all the letters of the word great can be arranged such that the ovals do not come together, your answer should be 72 ways. And the next question is, in how many different ways that all the letters of the word 11 can be arranged without repetition? If just asked the arrangements, you would have written so the different arrangements as 6 factorial. Now they have asked without repetition. So means here, say let me write the word 11. We have E which is repeated 3 times. Now we need to find the different arrangements without repetition. So therefore it cannot just be 3 factorial. So what do we do? The How many letters we have is 6 factorial divided by the number of letters which has been repeated so we have three factorial ways of arranging them so just by doing this we can simplify this so 6 factorial is written as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial so we have 6 into 5 into 4 which comes out to be 120 in the same way if you are asked to find the number of different arrangements for the word 2 t o o 2 without repetition then you should be writing this as 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial it's because we have 1 2 3 letters among which the letter o is repeated two times so this is 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 2 which is equal to 3 so the overall arrangement if it is asked with the repetition then you have 3 factorial which is 6. So the different arrangements we have is T O O T O O O O T O O T O T O and O T O. These are the 6 different arrangements that we can write for the letter T O O where the 2 O's are different and if they ask it without a repetition so we will consider T O O as one arrangement. OOT as one arrangement and OTO as one arrangement so which is only three without repeating the words. I hope the concept is clear. 
and this is how you can solve the problems related to the permutation i'll stop this video here in my next video i'll be discussing the concepts of combination thank you for watching like and share the video among your friends if you find the contents discussed here useful subscribe to my channel for more updates and do not forget to enable the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos